landmines usually is an explosive concealed under or camouflaged on the ground and designed to destroy or disable targets ranging from intruders pets civilians and sometimes maybe sometimes enemy combatants although to be fair landmines do happen to have quite an inclination for domestic animals and civilians the little buggers the proper way to employ landmines is by concealing them in a well-known path of the enemy. They can also be effectively employed by letting the enemy know that landmines have been laid. Becoming effective area denial weapons through which the enemy wouldn't even think about stepping in. You need to remember that a landmine is only as effective as its concealment and creative deployment. So be creative, knock yourself out. One particular type of landmine that I'd like to talk about is the so-called Bouncing Betty or S-Mine. This landmine is a German design deployed in World War II. When triggered these mines are launched into the air and then detonated at about 1 meter from the ground, that 3 feet in freedom units. The explosion projects a lethal spray of shrapnel in all directions. Due to the design of the bouncing Betty, it usually caused severe damage at the hip's height ringing some bells in the Ark of the Triumph, if you know what I mean. Another honorable mention is the Claymore Mine or the M1801 Anti-Personnel Mine. What's interesting about this mine is that the Claymore is command detonated and directional, meaning it is fired by remote control and shoots a wide pattern of metal balls into the kill zone. The claymore can also be victim activated by booby trapping it with a tripwire firing system for use in area denial operations. I have seen some creative employment of the claymore so it is important to mention that the properties of each device can be exploited for some interesting results. That was all. Thanks for watching. Bye 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 bye.